Hello students and welcome to the video number 3 for the topic Biology, Coordinated Functions of the Human Organ System. So, ang pinag-uusapan na natin ngayon ay ang nervous system. So, natigil tayo sa video number 2 which we are discussing the types of neuron. So, when you say types of neuron, we have three. Okay, sensory neuron, interneuron, and motor neuron. So, ano pinagkaiba ng tatlo? Sensory neuron carry impulses from sense organs to spinal cord and brain. So, ang sensory neuron can be seen and distributed along our sensory organs, such as skin. Uh, Nagagather ng information sa labas. Then, that information will go to the interneuron. So, interneuron can be brain or spinal cord. Na kung saan pinaprocess ang impulses na ito. And then, the motor neuron carry impulses from the brain and spinal cord to the muscles and glands for the response. So, kung sakaling ikaw ay natusok ng thumbtacks, okay, yung information na yan ay mapupunta sa brain or spinal cord and then mapupunta sa motor neuron para sa mabilisang response. Ano yung madali, mabilisang response? Withdraw your hand sa, sa, sen, sa source ng pain. Now, when you say neurons, it is... Communication. It is all about communication. So nerves work together with muscles for movement. An impulse begins when one neuron is stimulated by another neuron or by the sense organs. So this impulse travels down the axons of sensory neurons to the brain cells called interneurons. And the brain will then send an impulse through motor neurons to the necessary muscle or organs, telling it to contract or to move or Alisin sa ano, pinanggagalingan ng sakit. Okay? So, may kasabihan niya tayo, di ba? Kung nasasaktan ka, umalis ka na. <laughs> joke lang yun, joke lang. <laughs> okay, so, divisions of nervous system. So, we have two main divisions. First is the central nervous system. Second is the peripheral nervous system. Now, in this video, we will focus on the CNS or the central nervous system, which is um, composed of spinal cord and brain. Now, central nervous system is consists of brain and spinal cord. So, nakikita nyo naman sa illustration, di ba? Now, the brain is somehow the the CPU ng computer. O para CPU ng katawan ng tao. Yan, no? Yung central processing unit. Okay, so, our brain has parts such as the forebrain composed of cerebrum, thalamus, and hypothalamus. The pituitary gland na nasa ilalim ng utak, the midbrain. The hindbrain, which is uh, composed of pons, medulla oblongata, and cerebellum. The spinal cord, and the cerebral cortex. Now, let's discuss the cerebrum. So, cerebrum is the largest region, center for memory and intelligence. In humans, cerebral cortex is the largest and the most complex part of the brain. So, ang nagpa-complex dito is a the thick band of axons called corpus callosum or corpus callosum provides communication between the right and left cerebral cortices. The right half of the cerebral cortex controls the left side of the body and vice versa. So the yellow part of that uh, of that illustration are all cerebrum. So cerebrum have uh, partitions. So ang may kita niyo sa bandang noon is the frontal lobe. Uh, so, uh, responsible for speech, motor cortex. The parietal lobe, yung tuktok ng ulo, which is responsible for the speech, taste, reading, somatosensory association area. The temporal lobe na may kita sa bandang sentido natin, dito sa patilya natin, uh, which uh, responsible for smell, hearing. And the, the occipital area, which is responsible for visual association area and vision. Now, cerebellum, also known as the little brain, yung kulay blue na part. So the cerebellum is important for muscle coordination and error checking during motor, perceptual, and cognitive functions. So it also involved in learning and remembering motor skills. So sa so pagsasayaw, sa pagkilo, sa paglahat, yan. cerebellum ang responsable. The orange part is the diencephalon. Diencephalon is divided into two parts, the thalamus and hypothalamus. Thalamus is the main input center for sensory information to the cerebrum and the main output center for motor information leaving the cerebrum. While hypothalamus regulates homostasis and basic survival behaviors such as feeding,